Bevis can't be happy about what you've been doing to the distillery's business. You got Carl's attention. He's back at the Sweetwater Distillery. Any idea how he'll react when I go in there? He's bug shit crazy swamp people. How do you think he'll react? Still, might be worth keeping him around. No one knows the bayou like he does. Oh, you one for this, Nikki? Damn right you do. Bevis is waiting for you. Real interested to see how you handle him. It's really fucked him up with the butcher. Sonny's back over at the Robert O. His language has taken an especially colorful turn of late. I take it the butcher didn't appreciate Sonny's loan sharking and protection rackets being disrupted. You got that right. And the Shinolas hit the fan. Sonny's set on getting things back to normal. You know, keeping his people more scared of him than you. We'll see about that. Keep your head down till this is over, here. Yeah? I hear Sonny's a bit pissed that some mysterious colored fella disrupted his business. Even went all the way down to the meatpacking plant to wait for him. part is, I just talked to Greco a couple of days back. Dumb motherfucker didn't see it. That's why this here is a perfect gig. Low stress, 
Decent pay. You don't want something better? I mean. Shakedown crew is just gone. Fuck. Ah, oh, shit. That explains the thing with little Anthony this morning. What's Sonny Blue do this time? Little Anthony walks in, says good morning. Sonny goes off. Pissed is all fucked. Slaughterhouse is clear. Send your people. Hey, don't worry about the bodies. My boys will know what to do about them. If we can retake the distillery, that fat fucking Barbieri won't have anywhere else to go. Thomas Burke came to the States as a boy uh, when his father fled Ireland, likely because of his involvement in the Irish Civil War. Um, after his father died of a heart attack, uh, Burke started running booze to support himself. I mean, he turned bootlegging into an entire industry, and Sal Marcano took notice. Uh, Burke worked his way up the ranks, but could never be made because he wasn't Italian.
That son of a bitch has a gun. Boy, who you think you're fooling here. with? For me. He's out tens of thousands of dollars in liquor, and you're worried about your paycheck? I ain't the one who fucked up. Bevers wants to... Huh? Running for cover! Some bitch ain't breathing. one of us. Talk too much.
Emptied out the distillery. It's primed and ready for your boys. All for still standing. My boys are on the way. Everything's in place. The butcher's on his way. Time to put that rabbit dog down. Lincoln Clay convince Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together. He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive. Resupply and point for done. Send someone to point for done to pick up my cash. Hold your horses, I'll get to you. See anything you need? Your money's keep this safe. safe. Going straight to the bank. Let me see what you got. Okay. What's this all about? Getting ready for some company. Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known a man to be a liar. I <laughs> just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up ah, the ambush. Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Aye, that I could. It's all right. It's just Nicky. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's I know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call them out with a spotlight on the water tower. I loaded up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. I scatter them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You should head up to the roof. One last thing. You try to cut and run the plant myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. You're right back there, lass. 
What's that? My die asking how I'm doing? Whatever have I done to warrant such fucking concern? A oh, shite girl, a simple yes or no would have been fine. Left, 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 left! I don't give two fucks about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mink alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker. Saved a bullet or two. The nigger and a mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. I still alive then. I see your legs still giving you fits, huh, fucko? Ah, oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once I take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. Grab his legs. 
Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times there was barely any bone left.